Hello, this is Lisa from Happy Stamp, and today we are going to make this cute little card. It's a kind of an interactive card. So it says, wishing you a happy haunted Halloween. All right, let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to need is a piece of pumpkin pie. That is four and a quarter by 11. And we are going to score that at five and a half. Bring in my Simply Scored. Score that at five and a half. And we'll Use our bone folder, give it a good crease so it'll lay flat. And the next thing that we're going to need is a piece of paper from our new Halloween paper called Halloween Night Specialty Designer Series Paper. So I picked this black one with the speckles on it, but there's quite a few that you could use that, that don't have like big designs. Um, you could even use this one with the house. Uh, they're stripes. This one with the pumpkins is cute. And then this one, I like this one too. So there's quite a few. This one with the spider web, that one might be a little big, but. But I chose this one, and this piece is three and three quarters by five. And I'm going to take my one inch circle punch, put it all the way in, so it's all the way in, and all the way over to the edge of the punch, and we're gonna punch a hole. Then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side, all the way in, till it's all the way over to this side. and punch a hole. Then we'll take our paper snips. We're gonna bring those in and we're just gonna connect the holes. You could also use your paper trimmer on this, but this works just as easy. straighter all right that's good enough okay um, we're also going to need two pieces of whisper white that are four by five and a quarter one for the inside and one for underneath this piece. So what we're going to do is flip this over. We're gonna use our new um, strips that just came out in the new catalog. You're also gonna need a piece of pumpkin pie that is one and a half by, f one and a quarter by four and a half and that's gonna go right here and that's what's gonna make our little pumpkin slide. So we're gonna put that over the piece of the hole. We're gonna take one of our strips here and you're going, you're going to put it right up against, you don't want it so snug that you're gonna have problems getting it in and out, but you do want it fairly close so it doesn't jiggle all over the place. And we'll cut that off. And then the same thing, give it a little bit of room. And we will put another piece on the other side over here. All right, and then we will cut this off. Okay. Save this for another project. And 
dimensionals. We'll take some dimensionals and we are going to put those down at the bottom. Now our dimensionals aren't quite as high as our uh, strips here. So what you could do if that bothers you is take the backings off of the dimensionals and just double them up. But it doesn't bother me. You really, I mean, if you look really closely, you can tell that this has got a little hump here, but I don't think anybody's going to be looking at your card that close. So we will take off the dimensional backings and the strips here. And this is going to go on one of our pieces of Whisper White. We're going to um, put an evil equal border on all four sides. And these are sticky. And I kind of ripped it, so we're going to flip it over on the other side. Goodness sakes. There we go. off there and there we go okay all right now we're going to do some stamping and I'm using the greeting I'm using three stamp sets I'm using the glamper greetings and I'm using this wishing you a happy haunted Halloween um, I'm using the spider web from Mr. Funny Bones and a hostess set called My Hero. Um, it's right here. No, this isn't a hostess set. This is the set that, um, I'm sorry, the Ronald McDonald, I believe this is the Ronald McDonald set where um, a pro, uh, portion of this is donated to the Ronald McDonald house. I think it's two, two or three dollars. So every one of these images has either a punch or a stamp that go, a uh, framelit that goes with it. And I'm using this one right here. All right, so what I did with my wishing you a happy haunted Halloween, it came together and I just cut it in half. So I'm using wishing you a happy comma in here and then on the inside, a haunted Halloween. And I just, I just cut it in half, and if I ever wanted to use it again on a long sentiment, all you have to do is butt it up against each other. It's no big deal. Um, so I'm going to take my archival basic black. And ink that up. Okay. And that's going to go in the middle, uh, over more towards the right. Okay. Close that up for a moment. And I do want to wipe off my um, black from my stamp. It's already um, stained, but and that doesn't hurt the quality of your stamps at all. Um, but to make it not uh, any worse, I wipe it off right away. All right, so now we will take the pull, our pull tab, and we're going to put that in here, and it goes all the way out like that. So we're going to make sure that it doesn't go past the white. I'm going to take a dimensional and put it right here. And this one we are going to have to double up. So we'll put that right here. And then that way it blocks it from going in or out. And I see I got it a little bit, so I'm going to move that. Let's make sure that I get it more towards the edge here. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. That's good. All right. 
Now I'm going to take a scrap of Whisper White and our little pumpkin face and some pumpkin pie ink. Okay, make that sure that's good and inked up. And we'll put that down here. And I'm going to hold it a minute to let the ink soak into the paper. Okay, pretty good. I do see one little spot right there that doesn't have any ink on it. I don't know if there was something on my stamp. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my pumpkin pie marker. And I'm just going to use the brush tip and just very lightly fill it in. And you can't even tell it was there. There we go. All right, so I'm going to use my one and a quarter circle punch. And that punches this out and leaves no border. Then I'm going to take my one and a half circle punch and just a scrap of pumpkin pie. Sorry, one and a half, not one and a quarter. Oh, no, I didn't want that one. Sorry, I wanted basic black. You could do, but I think it just, um, it just drowns it out. You can't even really dope and I almost did it again okay and we will put a little glue on the back of this or on the front of this and that will get wiggled onto here okay And we'll take the top off of this one. And then this will go right on top of the dimensional, just like this. Okay, now this part over here, of course, is hanging out and you don't want that because you're not going to be able to put it in your card. So we'll just take our paper snips and we'll cut right along the edge. Make sure I got it. There we go, right along the edge. Then I'm going to take a piece of our new pumpkin pie glimmer paper, pretty, and our one inch circle punch, punch a circle. And I'm gonna fold this in half. Give that a good fold. Then I'm going to take my fast fuse because I want to make sure this stays on here. I'm going to put it right over the fold. Sorry if you can hear my son in there. Evidently he's watching something on TV that's making him happy. So we're just going to leave him be. And then this goes right here on the edge. And that will give you something to grip when you open up your card. So we'll just put this fold right on the edge of the paper in the middle and fold it over. And there you have, now you have something to give you a little more grip when you open up your card. So now all we have to do is put some glue or fast fuse snail, whatever you want to use on the back of this card. And then this is going to go on our pumpkin pie piece. And we're just going to kind of wiggle it in so we have an even border on all four sides. Right. 
And then for the inside, we're going to take our other piece of Whisper White and the other half of our Sentiment, some more basic black. And put that right here in the middle. So wishing you a happy haunted Halloween. And I'm going to wipe this off right away. Alright, got a little ink on my finger. and get that off too so I don't get it on my card. And, oops, I closed that up and I need the spider web. did I get? I got something on there. Hmm. All right, we're going to turn it over and do it again. So we'll do this one first. This goes right up in the corner. There we go. And then the haunted Halloween. Sorry for the jiggling. Okay. That goes in the middle. There we go. Oh, I'm, it must be on my block. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to, it's not going to be that noticeable, so I'm not going to worry about it. And then we will turn that over. And we'll use my fast fuse. And put that right in the middle here. And if that bothers you, what I have done in the past, although we don't have our white gel pen anymore, you could either, I don't know if this will, Sometimes it works with an adhesive eraser, but it's not going to. And you could also take a white gel pen and just write over the top of it. There you go. All right, so here's the one we just made, and here's the one that we made earlier. Only thing I think I'm going to do that I didn't do earlier is I'm going to take my Wink of Stella, and I'm just going to put it on the eyes. I'm taking the clear Wink of Stella. So it kind of looks like they're sparkling. I always forget that we have this. You want to try not to get it on the pumpkin pie because it will make, I mean, it's not going to hurt anything. But it will reactivate your um, ink and get it on your pen and then you just wipe it off. You can see it. All 
right, there you have it. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment. I'll be happy to answer them. All supplies can be purchased through my online store, www.happystamp.stampinup. Um, everything can be purchased now except for the paper and the glimmer paper. Um, those will be available on September 1st. So thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.